Good morning. I'm Jo Ellen. Um, I am a certified makeup artist and a licensed esthetician. And I like breaking things down so that you feel confident in your skin. So I recently have had several people reach out to me and ask me like how to use oil cleanser. And I've been using an oil cleanser for 10-ish years. And so I just don't think about <laughs> the, the logistics of it or the, you know, the details of how to use it properly and why it's good. And so I thought, you know what, if these women are having a little bit of questions behind how to use it, that means that more are, and they just haven't asked me. And so I want to break it down for you, how to use an oil cleanser and why it's good for you. So let's get to it. So if you have dry skin, an oil cleanser especially is going to be your best friend. Any woman who has any type of skin can use an oil cleanser. Oily, combo, normal, dry, anything in between, you can all use oil cleansers. And I think that's a kind of a misconception. A lot of women think, well, I have oily skin. I don't want to use an oil cleanser. That's not true. You totally can. I have very oily skin and I've been using an oil cleanser for a very long time and I actually really love it. Oil cleansers are a lot gentler on the skin they're more nourishing, they're soothing, they're softer. Um, there's nothing wrong with a gel cleanser, but sometimes gel cleansers can be extra drying and harsh for the skin, especially if you have dry or sensitive skin. Using a gel cleanser will be a bit much. You, will, you might notice after you wash your face that your face just feels tight. It feels like um, a little bit irritated. That's because the gel cleanser might be a little bit too harsh for your skin type. Um, gel cleansers strip your, your skin's natural oils. And so that can be a bit much depending on what type of skin you have. Um, so that's why I like oil cleanser because I feel like it's soft and soothing for all skin types. It's nice and gentle. It, Whenever you cleanse your face, you are removing your skin's natural oils, but it's less um, stripping and it's a lot gentler. So if you're like, okay, I want to try this out. Let's see what an oil cleanser is, is all about. Let me show you how to properly use it so that you get the best results and your skin reacts the best way. So this is my personal favorite one. This is an Arbic Arbicina oil cleanser. It's made from olive leaf elixir. It's so soothing and nourishing for your skin. Absolute favorite. I've used jojoba oil. I've used a jojoba oil blend. I've used lots of different oils in the past, but this one is my absolute favorite. It's so silky smooth and luxurious. It's my favorite. Um, so you can use an oil cleanser in the morning as you cleanse your face, or you can use it at night. You can use it both. Um, at night, you definitely want to be double cleansing your face. So cleansing your face once to remove your makeup, your dirt, oil, sweat, all that stuff from the day, removing all of that first and then washing your face and then doing a second cleanse, really cleaning your face. And you can do that two times with an oil cleanser or you can use an oil cleanser for your first cleanse and a gel cleanser for your second cleanse. Just kind of play around with it and see what works best for your skin because nobody's skin is the same. Um, skin care is not a one size fits all. So this is my personal favorite. I'll share all the details in the comments below, um, but let's walk you through step-by-step -step how to Use an oil cleanser properly so that your skin is happy and glowy and healthy. So with an oil cleanser, whenever you mix water and oil, they separate. So it's best to use dry skin on your face and dry skin on your hands when you are using an oil cleanser. Obviously, always wash your hands before you wash your face because you don't want to be spreading bacteria on your face. So take your clean hand that is dry and one squirt or two squirts is sufficient. I'm just gonna use one squirt right now because I don't have any makeup on my face. If I had makeup, I would probably do two squirts. So you get that oil on both hands and then you are rubbing it all over your face, making sure it's all evenly spread. And now you're just using circular motions and scrubbing gently. You wanna be gentle with your skin, but as, but enough so that you really are truly cleaning your skin. So you're just rubbing that in and it's so silky smooth. Like you can see I'm really oily. <laughs> this is why it's important to wash it off. But it just grabs at that oil, the dirt, the grime, all that stuff so beautifully. And that's so gentle for your skin. Your, your skin will not feel 
dry and irritated afterwards. It will feel so clean. So just do that for a good, you know, 30 seconds or however long you feel like you want to really focus on your skin. Okay, so now here is the key. You may or may not use a washcloth in your current skincare routine, and I'm gonna tell you, you need to. Because <laughs> at this point, if I were just to take my hands and splash it on my face and try to wipe it off, that oil wouldn't come off very well. It would still still be there. So it's so important that you use a clean microfiber cloth to remove that. So I've already gotten this wet, wrung it out, and this is a clean one. I get a new one every single morning so that I'm not wiping bacteria all over my face. So you take that and you wipe it all off. Now, the reason why I like using microfiber cloths is because I feel like they grab at the product, whatever's on your face, whether that's your cleanser, your makeup, the oil, um, it just grabs it so well, much better than just a normal washcloth. And it's also softer than a normal washcloth. Sometimes our, our washcloths can be pretty abrasive and can cause irritation on our face. So if you do something soft, but like a microfiber cloth that will actually grab and get it clean, that's the best. So now I don't feel any oil on my face. I have removed it all. And now my face is nice and clean. And at this point, then I can do my toner, serum, moisturizer, whatever else you wanna do for the rest of the day. But now my face is clean and I don't feel like it's tight and it's dry and it's irritated. Um, the gel cleanse or the oil cleanser cleans, but it doesn't remove so much so that it's leaving my face feeling like, ugh, I need, I need all the moisture. So that is how you use an oil cleanser properly. And if you ever feel like um, you're introduced to a new skincare product or a new um, skincare technique and you're confused on how to use it or, you know, it's just things aren't working as well as you think it's supposed to, then you can reach out to me and ask me. Like these women asked me like, I have, am I doing this right? Cause I don't feel like I'm getting the right um, results. And so I walk them through it. And so don't hesitate to ask questions. There is no dumb question. All of us are on different levels and we all have different experiences. We all have different skin types. So if you have specific skin questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them and I'm happy to guide you to have healthy, happy skin. I really believe that when you feel good, you do good. So let's get your skin feeling and looking great so that you can do great. Have a fabulous day and look for the good. Ciao.